the fastest car that I've ever driven. Hope this goes well. I see your eyes. Tell me no Today we are doing E46 things. That still doesn't feel natural saying it out loud, but that's what we're doing. I still can't believe I have a full on FD Pro Car. And I busted out the Porsche mode today that the livery is currently inspired by because this is gonna be the very last day that the car matches this mud here. Obviously it's gonna get the full Colette spec treatment at some point, but I just got this car like less than a week ago and we have Pro-Am in a few days this week. So it's not gonna get the full treatment just yet, but I do wanna make it look just a little different when I debut the car as mine at its first event. So there she is. It's gonna be the last day that she's matching the old mud here. So I'm gonna bring her over to the main shop and start taking off the rest of the livery pieces. Give it a G-Techna detail all around. Just clean it up a bit more, get some new logos printed, throw it on there. Maybe even like black out the roof and some other areas. Today, we're gonna start with the transformation and use this mud with the car for the last time. Okay, honestly, already, I'm liking the car so much more. I didn't think just taking off the red would make that big of a difference, but I'm loving it. It looks so clean, I guess just because I'm not the biggest fan of E46s with liveries on them, unless it's more like pro DTM style livery. I love, I love a plain color, I guess, on the E46. So the wrap is surprisingly still in really, really good condition. And getting the livery off wasn't that bad because I think this whole wrap and livery was only done maybe back in April. So it's not like I was dealing with really badly worn wrap, which made this process much, much easier. The color is growing on me. Gave the car a quick detail. And now it's time to add a few of my partner stickers. Hannah already printed them out for me a few days ago, but I need to finish putting the transfer paper over all of them and cutting them out. And then these will go onto the tar. But look, I used one of my favorite wraps. Look at the color. Oh, oh yes. 
Let's see that G Technit Shimmer. I use the less intense holographic wrap. So if I take the light away, it's not like the, the chrome type surface. I do really, really like this one. Prismatic Powders has a powder that would match this perfectly. And I wish we had time to powder coat the wheels to match. I would love that, but I'm eventually gonna be re-powder coating them anyway to match my eventual color scheme and livery for the car. So it's kind of hard to justify, but powder coating will be coming up very, very shortly. Day. We got all the stickers on and we also added two other pieces that I think made a really, really big difference. So I got those mirrors. I got like fake carbon covers for them. I think it being a darker color and not matching that like salmon color makes it look a lot better. If you remember, we put our trim on before and we got a little cute carbon wing on the back. Got her all cleaned up. I love it. Oh, also, Donnie lowered the car about an inch, and I think it made a really big difference. What do you guys think? No, not the full Colette spec treatment, but dang, she is looking good. Competition day is tomorrow, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my first few laps here at the compound. Just shake the car down. We have a different gear in there, and I just, you know, want to remember what she feels like. Then she'll be going straight into the trailer and then we're going straight into round three of pro-am and i better get used to this car real quick so we'll do some laps here at the compound and then call it a day we're back. i love this wing so much all right gonna go test now Let's open her up. This bottle should be mostly full. We're good. <laughs> Okay, we have some extra time, so the bonus content in this video is going to be chicken stuff. So I don't think I've like done an official chicken update in a while, but I can tell you that we have seven new baby chicks because while I was in Asia, Adam forgot to pick up the eggs every day. And three hens decided that they wanted to go broody, which means they wanted babies. And now, ta-da! We have baby chicks and this is actually gonna be my very first time bringing them outside so we'll see how they react they're about like two and a half weeks old now and they're the cutest things ever so I'm gonna pick a spot and then formally introduce you Kind 
to fly now? You can't do that. What do y'all think? Want some food? They are so freaking cute. I'm gonna be honest, these look a bit different than my original silkies. I think at least half of these are gonna be what's called like a frizzle, which means they're like half silky feathers, half satin feathers. You see like the big one that I have that is supposedly a silky, but it's smooth feathered. When they get crossed, sometimes the feathers are very confused. Like you could see this one. See how his feathers are kind of like a little crazy. He's in it so cute, but I think he's gonna be a frizzle as, oh, actually, no, we're not saying he. We're just saying she, because hopefully they're all girls. But I think she's gonna be a frizzle. And then what other one is really frizzly? This one is too, sort of. Look at him. They're so cute, but okay, what I am so excited about is this little girl right here. This is a color that I always wanted. It's called lavender and it's this like beautiful light gray. And I think she's gonna be like a real silky because she looks really smooth, but this is them, seven new babies. And yes, I hatched them myself and I knew nothing before this about hatching baby chicks. I did end up taking them um, out from underneath the mom at like mm, 18 days. So the last few days were in the incubator so I can keep an eye on them. Um, Cause the mom just kept, by the end of it, she like didn't even want to sit on them anymore. So the last few days were in the incubator. I had to do an assist hatch on the first one I ever hatched, which was stressful because you should never intervene. It's super, super risky to do that, um, but it was hatching from the wrong end. So I had to help with the very first one. And there's only one other one that I had to help hatch. But um, yeah, this is my first baby chips, my first chips from hatching. So now we officially have like, we have a lot of chickens, you guys. We have like 18. We have 18 chickens now. Definitely think this one's gonna be a dude because he's huge. But look at these crazy rear lead feathers, like speed mode, aerodynamic feathers, shooting out his knee, reverse knee. I don't know what that is on a chicken. Oh, there you go. This dude is super cool looking. I think he's gonna be like the other really big one that we have, but he's cool. Okay, I'm sorry. This is the cutest thing. How cute is that? I got them all helmets. It's okay. Eventually, he'll grow into it. He doesn't like it right now. I'm gonna take it off. But look how cute! <laughs> So for now, because they're so little, they are actually staying inside the house. This is their little area. It's insane. They've at least tripled in size in the past two and a half weeks since they were born. So they're already getting kind of big for this. So when they're slightly a little bigger and probably like a week or two weeks, I'm gonna end up putting them first in the coop out there because I can still separate them from the rest of the flock if they're in the coop until they get bigger and it's safe for them to join everybody. But by the way, I love having this here. Like this is the best thing ever. The chickens are so entertaining to just watch, see if we got any eggs, which, ooh, we got an egg. Um, yeah, I love it. And then they usually come greet us up there because we always give them treats. So for now though, the chickies are on the inside with us. All of our other chickies are doing great. This is our big one. 
that I thought the other one was gonna end up looking like. Um, yeah, so they're they're doing amazing. They love watermelon. So we're giving them lots of that in this hot weather. And I'm not sure if I ever showed you guys our tractor supply chicken. So one, two, three, four. I got four hens to even out the ratio. Um, Cause we just have a lot of dude chickens. So the only girls are that one, um, the white one, and then that gray one there. And then all the other silkies are boys. So I got four sexed tractor supply hens and Adam calls them the feral chickens because they don't really, they don't really come up and greet us and they're not as sweet as the other ones. They make way more of a mess too. Um, they haven't started laying eggs yet, but supposedly when they do start, they're gonna lay like at least one big brown classic egg a day times four. So that's pretty cool. And yeah, they're pretty, pretty awesome, super entertaining. And when they get to be this age, they're they're pretty much self-sufficient. Like I rarely top off that food and it stays good for so long. The only thing that is something you have to do like every week is the water, but I can totally automate that if I wanted. So super, super recommend chicken. They're so cool, do some fresh eggs every day and they're just really, really entertaining, so. This is Henry. He's the one that was hanging out with me the other day in my shop, if you were watching my stories. Um, he was sitting on the LS. He's a cool dude. Likes to perch, likes to hang out. One cool thing about silkies is they have blue ears. Check them babies out. Yeah. Those are real nice, Henry. Also, his name's Henry because at first I thought he was a hen and he ended up not being a hen before he had a proper name, so now he's Henry. Okay, buddy, you gotta get down, okay? Here you go. And you can do it. It's not that high. You can do it. And jump. You got it. You got it, buddy. There you go. And this is Big Boy. He's the, the leader of the flock. He has all the cool colors. And supposedly he's a silky. You can see like his ears are half blue, half red. He was supposed to be fuzzy. He ended up being um, not fuzzy and having semi-regular feathers, but they're like really, really soft. So this is the one <laughs> that I think would make all the other chicks that I have now, the frizzle type. Hey Henry, what are you doing? Henry's a good dude, look at that. Henry's a good looking, good looking rooster. He's my sweet boy rooster. Um, a lot of the other roosters pick on him. So I take him out from time to time and bring him with me to my shop and he hangs out. But I really like Henry. I do have a favorite boy and it would be this boy right here. Riley, come on. Riley, get out of there. Come on. Come on. I love silky chickens. I'm glad that I discovered the silky chicken as my very first one, especially having like the, the other chickens now. I'm, I think I'm a little biased towards silkies. So those are our chickens. They're doing very well. We got the new babies here. Somehow an E46 video turned into a full on chicken video. So yeah, back to the E46. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below about its little cleanup, makeover, and any ideas for livery. Of course, I'm gonna use the classic Colette Spec colors, probably go with some neons of the sort. And I know I wanna have a livery designed, but any ideas, comment below. I'm excited to transform the aesthetics of that car, and it is just so amazing that I can focus solely on that because the car is sorted, it's ready to go. There's only a few minor changes that I want to make to it in relation to the tuning and the angle package and how it's set up in the front, but car is sorted. So your girl can go crazy on aesthetics and I cannot wait. So comment below, let me know what you think of how it looks now and then any ideas for the future color scheme of the car. So that is it for this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.